So, as uh, most of you may or may not know, um, I, at the moment, own two vehicles. Uh, I have a 2005 uh, Chevy Equinox, uh, nicknamed Luna. Um, bought her about a year and a half ago. And, uh, well, it's a good car and the engine's strong. It wasn't big enough for me and my kids. So, last February, um, matter of fact, I bought it on the 13th of February, I think. I bought a um, 1998 uh, Ford Expedition. Um, it only had 150,000 miles on it. Uh, it was on a salvage title, which meant that, um, like, it had been it had been crashed it, it wasn't horribly wrecked or anything um, for some reason or other the insurance company decided that they didn't want to pay for the repairs and they just salvaged it um, not really a big problem you just buy it back from the insurance not, you know there's nothing really wrong with the vehicle um, it has a hundred it had hundred and fifty thousand miles on it when I bought it so hundred and fifty thousand miles on a 20 year old vehicle is actually pretty darn good um, so, um, I've been driving it around, it's, today is July 6th, where's my thing, yes, today is July, July 6th, it's horrible, I know, I don't know what day it is, um, so, but anyway, Today's July 6th, and so I've been driving it around for four and a half, five months now. Um, over the last couple of weeks, I'd say two, maybe three weeks, I've noticed some sputtering, and um, I did get a code for a misfire on Sparkplug 2. Um, which is fine. I, I knew I needed to, you know, I've put 10,000 miles on it in the last couple of months. Um, I knew I needed to do a tune-up on it when I bought it, and I just put it off for as long as I could. Um, now the problem is, is today I went out to go to work, and went to start the truck, and I got, that's it, that's it just whoop. and I went well shit I think my battery's dead so I called my father-in-law and uh, had him come over and try and give me a jump um, while I was waiting for him to come over I popped my hood and started looking underneath and uh, noticed that my positive cable is Fried. The connector to the battery is fried. Like it was, it literally, at some point, for some reason, that connector got so hot it melted. And there was a little, like a little drop of metal sitting on top of the battery, um, right underneath the connector. And you could see it had dripped down from the connector. It was, I was just like, you know, so. Connector's old. It's fried. We literally, it had melt welded the bolt and we couldn't loosen it. We couldn't tighten it. Um, my father-in-law literally walked up and grabbed the damn thing and just pulled it right off of the battery. Um, so there was nothing we could do about that. Um, we took the cables out of the connector and cleaned them up and used, uh, dielectric connector grease uh, hoping that that would help and then put the connector back together and put it back on the truck as best as we could because it's it's done um, and it still wouldn't start so today I had to drive the um, the Chevy Equinox to work uh, Chevy Equinox has a whole list of problems car's not safe. I don't like driving it. So, um, here for the, the next week, I'm going to, 
uh, wait for my check to hit. Sorry, there's a car driving around, and as you can see, I'm at work. Um, but, um, so for the next week, I'm going to be driving the Equinox uh, Luna, even though she's unsafe. Uh, and hopefully on Thursday, I will be able to uh, do basically some routine tune-up and change out the I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's just those cables um, I if it's more than that I'm not gonna have the money and it's gonna take me another week and it's gonna freaking piss me off <laughs> but um, hopefully on Friday after I pick up my kids I can DIY the shit out of this and get my expedition up and running again. Uh, the expedition's name is Beast. Um, yes, I know. I've had like three cars named Beast now. Um, although one was nicknamed New Beast and then changed to Death Trap because <sighs> that Jeep was a wreck. I don't know if you guys ever saw any pictures of the Jeep or any videos of the Jeep. There may have been like a few of me and the kids in it, but not really anything big. I didn't like um, posting that Jeep because it was literally unsafe to drive. It was it was dangerous. There was so many things wrong with that Jeep. Um, if I hit a bump, the damn thing rattled off the fucking road. I literally could not go more than 45 miles an hour safely. Um, and I was driving an hour and a half to get to work every day, so it made it even worse. Um, but anyway... Well, that was odd. Um, so anyway, um, I already have some of the basic things because I had originally planned to do just the quick tune-up you know change the oil change the air filters um, do you know uh, radiator flush call it good I never did them I'm horrible and then I put 10,000 miles on the car so yeah bad Ford owner but that's okay you know what Built Ford Tough, I have learned these fucking trucks just keep going. I ran the bitch out of oil. It just kept going. I didn't notice. Like, I started getting, like, every time I would step on the gas, I'll insert the video. But every time I would, um, every time I would step on the brakes at a stop sign, and then step on the gas to take off from the stop sign, my oil light would just come on, and I didn't know what was wrong with it. And I hadn't checked the oil in like three weeks because it was fine. You know, it hadn't been burning off or anything, and I and it looked clean. Um, so I didn't think anything of it, and then it started doing that, and I went the hell is wrong with my truck and I checked the oil and lo and behold there's nothing on the dipstick so um yeah bad Alexis that's horrible um and then yesterday I noticed it didn't have that much water in it but it had water in the radiator it just didn't have any water in the reservoir I did check to make sure that I wasn't running it dry um, but built for tough darn thing just keeps on freaking ticking However, um, 
it just didn't want to start today. So I'm hoping that it's just the cables. Uh, I'm looking at this price line uh, that I've got going here so that I can finish the uh, the tune-up. And this is a lot of money. And I still, if the if it's not the cables, then I got to go to the battery. And if it's not the battery, then I got to go to the alternator. And if it's not the alternator, and it's not the battery, and it's not the cables, then I start checking solenoids. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's no fun. So, um, yeah, so basically, uh, what I have here to do, uh, let's see if I can flip this camera around. Hold on. What I have here for right now is um, Max Life. Um, I do have an alternator on here, which only turned out to be uh, 170, 117. Well, really? Just freaking reset on me. Okay, so yeah, 117 plus a 25 refundable, so 140 bucks for the alternator. So I did order an alternator. Okay. Um, okay, so I have oil, an alternator. Uh, some more oil because it's a six gallon or a six quart tank. Uh, the what is this one? This one is the 72. Okay, so 72 inch uh, battery cable so that I can replace the negative if I need to. Um, spark coils the 38 no sorry this one is for the negative the 72 is for the positive and then um, I had spark plugs on here but I can only order them in my store personally so I'm gonna have to go to the store to do so uh, but right now my total is sitting at 244 plus the spark plugs brought it up to 300 it was like two 80 something brought it up to 300 and let's see 25 why does it have less oh because I took off the I took off the battery okay I had like a, a $60 core refund but it was because I took the battery off so yeah and I get 25 of that back plus so yeah it's it's really gonna cost me about probably about two hundred and sixty dollars in total um, after because I'm gonna get that 25 back and then I'll get um, the spark plugs and it's just it this is just it's been frustrating and I really don't want to drive the Equinox but I'm gonna have to drive the Equinox for another couple of days at least and hopefully this Friday I can get all this put in and uh, get it taken care of so yeah so yeah that's what I'm looking at right now um, like I said hopefully this Friday I can get it done and uh, of course as always, I will set up the camera and make everybody in my neighborhood look at me funny. And I will definitely make sure that you guys get to see my lovely little adventure to fix a Ford, which has a coil engine, and I've never worked on a coil engine before. This is going to be an interesting one. Um, hopefully it's just, hopefully it's simple. Um, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to YouTube this, and I'm going to look up how to change cords. Uh, for the spark plugs and, and the, all of that. Because um, I've always worked with a distributor engine and I've never changed spark plugs and coils. I have no idea how to do that. So I'm going to have to uh, look it up and see if it's as simple as it looks when I looked under the engine. Which, knowing me, I can probably 
do it no problem uh basically all i have to do is take it apart and i can figure out how to put it back together but yeah i think i'm gonna watch a video on it first just to make sure i don't fuck it up because i really like this truck i mean it's a 24 year old truck to be specific but it's got a good strong engine on it the thing it actually kind of it handles like a dream to the exception of my um my ball bearings are going out in the front and i'm not gonna try and fix that myself that's that's gonna be a shop thing i am not gonna do that myself because i know that's a bitch to do so that's gonna go to the shop and there's a shop out here um that will do it on payments for me um so i don't have to you know uh, because it's gonna cost me nineteen hundred dollars and i don't have nineteen hundred dollars so that's where that is um but other than that the, it handles like a freaking dream um it drives really well it gets better gas mileage than my 2005 equinox which is just to me that's just strange like with my 2005 equinox i can drive to work and back and it take a quarter of a tank in my expedition i can drive to work and back and it only take an eighth of a tank and well okay so the the equinox has a 20 gallon tank and the Ford has a 24 gallon tank. So, yeah, um, five gallons versus two gallons. Yeah, my Ford runs a hell of a lot better than my Equinox. Um, the Equinox, I may or may not dig into that. That has some issues that I'm not going to be able to fix either. Um, I mean, I could change the U-joint or CBC joint that's that's messed up in it. I don't know what it is. I haven't really looked under there. All I know is that when I turn, it goes clunk, 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 clunk. I know it's a U-joint or, or a CBC joint. Um, but, uh, so that's, and then it has, it needs new rotors and it has an evac problem. Not an evap, but an evac, um, meaning it's got a broken vacuum line somewhere, and I can't find the damn thing. I've I've looked at all the vacuum lines; none of them look rotted. Um, the only thing I can think is that it's got to be somewhere inside the um, the body of the car, because there's a set that goes back to the evap system for the gas line. Um, it might be one of those. I don't think so, but I, it's coming up as a gross leak, which means it's extreme. So, um, the damn thing's not smogable. It's never been smogged and I've owned it for about a year and a half now. Yeah. Cause almost a year to the day. See, I'm doing this thing where almost a year to the day, I'm buying a brand new car. And it's not really that I'm buying a brand new car. I'm buying these old cars that will get me through for at least the next year. Well, minus what little fixes I have to do to them. I'd like to keep the Ford. I'd like to keep it running. Um, but it is a 98 and it is an Eddie Bauer edition. Those have a notorious transmission problem. Um, and I've seen some possible issues with the transmission that's in it. It feels strong when it's running, but only after it warms up, which is usually is the first sign that it's starting to go out. So I'm, I'm a little worried about that, but, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, hopefully this Friday I can get my truck ready. I'll see you then.